Rolling Credits Techniques Building rolling credits is usually going to be accomplished by making multiple credit blocks. Individual rolling credits generators that will handle their own formatted text. Add rolling credits 3. Switch to your pre-formatted credits RTF file. The credit shown is a single column credits list. The top portion of the credits will remain in single file here. Copy all the text from the top of the file to the cast line. This will be our first rolling credits generator content. Double click the text in the viewer. You must paste RTF content into the viewer. If the ruler does not appear click the ruler icon in the upper right corner of the viewer. This toggles the text editing ruler on and off. For this demo, we'll turn off the drop zone, since these can be positioned anywhere. After you format your credits, you can go back and add the drop zone if you like. Delete the default text and paste the copied RTF text. Be prepared for minor errors. FCPX is not perfect in this area. In this demo, the first line needs to have the center alignment reset. Notice however that all the text comes in at its RTF formatted sizes. Notice the text appears a little smaller than how it appears in text edit. Select all the text and apply a relative size increase. I've applied plus 23 here. Rolling credits is pre-animated so position the playhead to the point where you can see the bounding box. You can shorten this by clicking and dragging the bottom of the box upward, but this is not necessary. For the next section, option click drag a duplicate above and to the right of the start of the first generator. Select the text and activate the ruler and paragraph boundaries. Drag the right side to just left of center. Switch to your RTF file and select the next section of text to copy. There are 23 lines in this next section. I've selected 12 to copy. There will be 11 on the next one. Switch back to FCPX. Carefully select all the text and paste in the new text. Notice that it is slightly to the right of center in the text area. This is due to the right margin setting in the RTF file. You can either adjust the RTF file and try again, try to reformat the text in FCPX, or just go with it. I'll just go with it. Duplicate this generator and stack it directly on top of its original. Use snapping to ensure it is aligned. Switch to the Effects Inspector and use Transform Position X to move the copy to the right. Make the two sets look as even as possible. Switch back to the RTF and copy the next set of lines. Back in FCPX, select all the text and delete it. Notice here that all the text was selected in the Text Inspector. Deleted. Then I click the cursor in the viewer to activate the on screen text control. Then paste the text. You can manipulate the start, position, Y, to move the columns vertically. Another better way to move the columns vertically is to move the entire generator left, upwards or right, downwards, to sync it to the top portion.
Go back to the first, top, generator and turn back on the drop zone. Use the position controls to place it among the other content however you like it. Resizing the drop zone actually resizes its container. You will need to make adjustments to put it all back together properly aligned. Notice the black bar that appears on the right edge. If you use a full screen version of the generator, you can easily use the drop zone alignment, left, center, right, options. You will need to realign the character media to move the drop zone area back into place, then pan the drop zone and scale it to fill. The border regions of the drop zones are not 16, 9. But overscaling should not be an issue since the media size will still usually be less than 100%. If you stretch out the generators to make them animate more slowly, and this will help the overall smoothness of the animation, make sure all generators are the same length or they will animate at different speeds. 